All right, guys, so let's make a quick video about uh, five things to consider before you buy a, a Traeger grill. Uh, actually, that's, that's uh, the first one is really it's not, it's not a grill, it's a smoker. And a lot of people buy these thinking that they're grills and realize that you can't make steaks like you used to. Uh, you can't fry up hot dogs for the kids quick and easy. So it's not, it's a smoker. It's, it's, it's designed for, to cook long and slow. Uh, that's why I don't recommend getting rid of like your charcoal grill, which we kept. It's over there. And uh, just because for that reason, uh, there are certain things you just can't do. Uh, you could reverse sear just like, uh, you know, Joe Rogan and all those guys talk about. Uh, but that's like probably the best method to get a good steak on a, on a smoker. Uh, second is uh, your pellets, the cost of pellets. So you can get like a sixty dollar, you know, maybe how much to fill up a, a gas propane tank is probably twenty bucks. Uh, you're you're gonna be spending like twenty bucks every bag of pellets, which you can go through pretty quickly. Um, so your cost of pellets is actually gonna be pretty expensive. It it doesn't even compare to uh, filling up a tank of gas. Uh, three, another thing to consider is you have to have it plugged in wherever you're gonna have it right uh we have it plugged in we wanted it over here where we used to have our old grill but we would have to run an orange extension cord across the patio or whatever it, and it, it would look just not good so we have to plug it you know right here where there's an outlet and uh it's kind of you're limited to where you could put this grill so it's something that you don't even think about until you're like well you get it to your house and you, you don't even realize that you have to plug it in you know where you're going to plug it in you don't think about that part um uh, another thing to consider number three, is the learning curve it takes like it's, it's nothing cooks the same that you would think uh i recommend following like the recipes that they give you online to get an idea of uh what temperatures and how long to cook stuff because i would i i went in thinking ah yeah just cook it for 350 for whatever it, it's certain things didn't come out right so there's definitely a learning curve and you know you can follow the trigger groups on facebook and a lot of people have a lot of good input but i would start with um with some of the recipes that they have on their webs on their app they're actually great a lot of them are actually pretty good Oh, so uh, number four, I would consider uh, you got to be close to your house so that the Wi-Fi, see the antenna right there, so that the Wi-Fi works good and connects to your, uh, your, you know, Wi-Fi work connects to your phone and everything. Uh, if you have like a patio that's far away from your house, uh, you're not probably not going to get a good signal and you're not going to be able to use the Wi-Fi function of this, which is pretty nice because you can be anywhere and know what your meat's doing. Uh, so that was, that's a big one to consider because based on where your patio or where you want to put it, you might be limited on, on some of those functions. Uh, number five, uh, it definitely has some maintenance. You have to clean it pretty frequently, which I was pretty terrible about cleaning all my gas grills, but you do have to c clean this pretty frequently if, unless you want to have it get damaged or catch on fire. It's not hard. You just got to remove everything. Uh, you have to remove, you know, the grates and you have to move this tray and you have, you know, use vacuum it. It's just like dust that you're vacuuming. The grease trap could be kind of like, there's a little, little trench in the, in the front of it where, which is kind of tricky to get. Uh, the only, I would imagine that people taking these, uh, grates out, if you don't line them up perfectly and you bang the side of, of the edge, you could probably dent your grill and then you know, look kind of crappy. So I would, I would, I would suggest taking your time so you don't damage the edge of your grill when you remove these grates because they just barely fit in there when you take them out. But overall, they're awesome grills or smokers. I keep saying that, but they're not grills; they're smokers. Uh, so if you thought this was helpful, uh, please subscribe and uh, check out, uh, like the video.